You know it's late summer in Southern California when you're outdoors and suddenly you see a flash of metallic green and hear what sounds like a helicopter buzzing close by your head. The green fruit beetles are out and active. Now these beetles have a lot of different names. I've heard them called fig eater beetles, green fig beetles, western green june beetles, or just june beetles. Their scientific name is Cotinus mutabilis, and for this video I'm going to be calling them green fruit beetles because I think that's the most descriptive name. Green fruit beetles are large, robust beetles, often over an inch long and are a bright metallic green color with a tan or yellowish edge to their wing covers. You'll see adults flying around in mid to late summer through fall, and they are beautiful insects to see up close. They may be startling with their loud buzzing, but they don't bite and pose no threat to people. While you're most likely to see adult beetles, green fruit beetles actually spend the majority of their lives living in the soil as larvae. In late summer and fall, mated female beetles lay their eggs just below the surface of organic matter like compost, mulch, or manure. These eggs hatch into larvae, which are large, off-white grubs, usually found slightly curled in a C-shaped position. While the larvae of some species of June beetle feed on plant roots and can be serious pests, green fruit beetle larvae feed almost exclusively on decaying matter, and only feed on roots if their normal food sources are depleted. You can tell the mostly harmless green fruit beetle larvae apart from the more frequently damaging June beetle larvae because green fruit beetles are larger, have a proportionately smaller head, and are a more tan color than the whitish June beetle larvae. While green fruit beetle larvae aren't pests, the adults can sometimes be a problem for your fruits. As their name implies, green fruit beetles are attracted to the scent of ripe fruit and can attack numerous soft-skinned fruits like figs, apples, apricots, plums, and peaches, and grapes. Their feeding can damage or destroy ripe fruits and open them up for other creatures to feed on them as well. While they aren't usually a major pest, green fruit beetles can definitely be a nuisance and can cause serious damage to susceptible fruits if their numbers are high enough. So what should you do to protect your fruit from these beetles? Well, prevention is by far the most effective. First, keep green fruit beetle populations low by limiting the number of places where their larvae can grow. Spread mulch or manure piles thin to make them less favorable to larvae, and screen or cover compost piles. You can also turn compost piles frequently to expose larvae to predation or so you can remove them by hand. Harvest your fruits as soon as they are ripe and dispose of any fallen fruit so it doesn't attract more beetles. Choosing fruit tree varieties that are ready to harvest earlier in the season can also help prevent feeding damage if beetles are frequently a problem in your area. Finally, covering susceptible fruits with mesh intended to protect them from birds may also be effective against green fruit beetles. If prevention didn't work and you still have large numbers of adults on your fruit, don't resort to insecticides. They are unlikely to be effective and may harm other beneficial insects that are present. Instead, some adults can be captured using homemade traps. Used 1 gallon drink jugs work well for constructing traps. First, create a funnel at the top using mesh or another material, or cut the top off the container and invert it into the base. Next, fill the bottom of the container with a few inches of a 1 to 1 mixture of water and grape or peach juice. Adult beetles are attracted to the fruit juice, will enter through the funnel, and then be unable to exit. Traps like these can catch some adults and help reduce green fruit beetle numbers in your area. At the end of the day, remember that most of the time these beetles won't be a serious problem for your fruit trees, especially if you take some simple preventative steps. So try to appreciate them as a beautiful, if noisy, sign of summer in Southern California. If you want to learn more, check out the UCIPM page on green fruit beetles, linked in the description.